Hello everybody, Andrew Roboto here, and welcome to Those Nights at Chuck E. Cheese's, where this is a Chuck E. Cheese's fan game, based on Five Nights at Chuck E. Cheese's, I guess, and as you can see on the screen, Chucky's friends Helen and Pasquale keep popping out of nowhere, which is really funny, <laughs> and then Chucky just keeps moving simultaneously, look, that's Mr. Munch, let's see if Chucky's, any of other of Chucky's friends will come, we, got, we saw Mr. Munch, Helen, and Pasquale, that's Helen, we saw Pasquale and Mr. Munch. I don't know where Jasper is, but whatever. And as you can see, we have um, Saturday Nightmare, which I'm assuming we unlock after we beat um, Night 6 or whatnot. But anyways, without further ado, we'll start a new game and see what that's the offer for us. And I apologize if you see white. It's because this is all my computer can bring. It doesn't bring it to a full screen. I don't know why, but... Anyways, Night Guard needed at New Chuck E. Cheese's location. After being worked on for over a year, another location of the famous pizza place, known as Chuck E. Cheese's, is ready. And I didn't get to read it. But, without further ado, we got Monday night, 12 o'clock a.m. Hey there. Oh, it's phone call. You must be the new guy. Uh, Frank, right? Um, well, I just wanted Frank? to say a huge thanks for applying for a good job at the last minute. We were really scrambling to find some... Power down, let's second. see. What is this for? Uh, show you the ropes, you know, I see. Um, oh, wow. So Play the sound. He then. Get him out of the way. Uh, the company told me to inform you of a, a brand new state of the art animatronic character. We have a door to close. A we have a half eaten pizza and a calendar. Apparently, they're fully mobile and noise sensitive. So, say they're on the stage and your kids in the other room. Then they would actually walk off their stage and go play with the kids. It's a pretty cool freak feature, but uh, also a weird one. And Power down puts the camera the down. Interesting. They enter kind of a um, sleep mode. So if they hear someone like you there at night, they may still get off their stage, even if it's nighttime, and try to get into your office. Now, don't be alarmed if you see the moving of the camera system we provide for you. We ran some tests and they're completely incapable of harming anyone. Also, one more thing. You may have noticed that huge metal door in your office. We installed that just in case, say, a burglar breaks in with a weapon. So if you see him in that doorway, just close it until he leaves. However, you can only keep it sealed for a short time before it overheats. There's a little monitor by the side of the doorway uh, that displays how close it is to overheating. Oh, Pasquale I just moved. All the way out, then the door will overheat and you won't be able to use it for the rest of the night. You won't be able to use it again until our technicians can fix it for the next night. So just try not to let it run out. Alright? Okay. So, uh, that should be everything I need to tell you. Um, your shift ends at 6 a.m. and I'll just uh, talk to you again tomorrow. Um, bye. <laughs> Oops, sorry, I just closed out of the game. I apologize. But anyways, if we see someone at the door, we have to close it. If we can't close, keep it closed for too long. Yeah, see Pasquale, he's on the, he's in the employee hall. I don't know when he's going to come in, but I got to start checking the door. And I believe Pasquale is the only one active, because I see him moving. Ignore that pop-up that just came up, I don't know what that is. Oh, and there's a hole in the wall and some checkered flags up there. Okay, there's Pasquale. He's still outside. I haven't seen him at the door yet. Okay, where's Pasquale? Oh, he moved back to camp too. Okay, good. So far, I haven't seen him at the door. So that's good. <clears throat> Let's see. Is Pasquale there? Yep, he's in the main area. And then Jasper's in a stage, so... Don't have to worry about him, because... 
so far past why the looks of it Pasquale is the only one we're dealing with because the others haven't moved yet so that's a good thing and this game looks a lot different than the original than the original Final Fantasy Chucky as well as Final Fantasy Chucky e. Cheese is rebooted and I know and if you're wondering well how what the difference is it's because all these characters are cartoonish in the game Whereas in Final Fantasy Chuck E. Cheese's and Final Fantasy Chuck E. Cheese's rebooted, they look more realistic. Aha! Pascal Wally's at the door. Okay, so I gotta close it. Let me go check for Pascal Okay, good. Pascal left. Oh, and the, the battery recharges for the door, so that's a good thing. And Pascal left. Good. And for some weird reason, the power down means you means you put the camera down. I'm assuming it conserves the battery. I don't know, because we have we have unlimited because we have unlimited power for the battery, but we and for the building, but only the door has a limited amount of power, which will recharge automatically once it open you open it up again. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so far as I predicted, it's just Pasquale we're dealing with for night one. And this whole door thing reminds me of Five Nights at the Wiggle House, where we have to look through the door instead of using a light. Because that's how we'll know they're there. Oh my god! Oh my god, that's... That's a really creepy cheering sound. That's basically kids screaming through a fan. Like, why that? Where a kid can be a kid. Oh, and there's a minigame. I'm playing as Chucky. Where a kid can be a kid. <laughs> Just thought I'd sing that. I remember the Chuck E. Cheese's commercials. In fact, I actually went there one time when I was a kid. Okay, so we're playing as Chucky for the minigame. Oh, he was... He was captured. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, he's an imposter. He was caught by the police. Okay, camera feed out. Night 2 code, um... 7795P. I'm actually going to go... I'm going to go take a picture of this on my phone just so I remember in case if I need the passcode. So, I'm actually going to go... I'm actually going to go take a picture on my cell phone right now just so, just so I can remember. This game reminds me of Five Nights at Smudgers 1 and Five Nights at Nintendo Land where we have to use passcodes. Same with the Five Nights at Smash Bros. series. Okay, so I took a picture of the passcode. Now we can enter Night 2. And since I got enough time left to record, we'll take on night two in this video as well. Without further ado, we'll take on night two. See what does that for us. Okay, why isn't it why isn't it loading? You know what? I, I actually just figured it out. I think I have to exit out of the game, then go back in it. Okay. Alright, let me go back in. I apologize that I just exited out of the game, but apparently it won't load, so I exited out of the game, and now I'm going to go back in it. And hopefully that will do the trick. Because I do have the Night 2 code password on my phone. I just took a photo of it. Just because I, I don't have a pencil and paper here by me, so that's why. Okay, there it is. It loaded. Good. Okay, I'm going to press continue. Okay. Alright, it says password required. So, we got to enter the password, of course, which I have it on my phone. The password is 7795P. There you go. Alright, now we're on to night two. So, without further ado, we will take on night two in this video as well and see what that's are for us. Or as it's also known by the title, Tuesday Night. Jasper? Um, yeah, that one's noise sensing unit is extremely sensitive and jumpy. So if he hears like even the slightest sound, he will most likely bolt off of this stage and run towards the source of the noise. Now, I'm not 
Jasper just moved. Yes, in Cam 9. Gotcha. Okay, who was talking? Okay, so we're dealing with both Jasper and Helen this night. Because I just saw the move. Okay, so I gotta check the... I gotta check Cam 5 for Jasper, since he's gonna be a foxy character. And then I gotta check the heat vent for whoever we're dealing with in the heat vent. And then the door for Pasquale. Alright. Okay. There's Helen, I see her. Ah, Jasper, he's okay. running. Oh. Oh, there's Helen. Okay, okay, so Helen's gonna be the one going through the heat vent. Oh, she just went in, so I gotta overheat it. Okay, so if Helen goes in the heat vent, we have to overheat it. Ah, and she just jump scared me. Okay, so how do I deal with Helen? Do I just overheat it prior to her going in? I don't know. I feel like I'm going to have to close out of the game again just to get back in. Because it's not loading. Yeah, thanks a lot, Helen. Now i got to start all over again. But don't worry, I got a pass. I got the password right on my phone. Okay, so I think I got to heat up the vent before Helen goes in. And I think that will scare her off. I don't want to deal with Jasper. I have to close the door when I see him running. Okay, I just gotta re-enter the password before I get started. Hello? Okay, I'm gonna listen to the phone call again in case I missed anything. Um, so Helen's the one talking, okay.
Okay, so I'm thinking for how long we have to heat up the vent before she gets in. Okay, that's a really creepy voice. Oh, Jasper's moving closer. I gotta check for Pasquale. Because he comes to the door. And you can see him in the hallway. Pasquale will just go running. Jasper moved. And then Pasquale is coming closer. Oh, he's here. Gotta close the door. Okay, so that's how I get rid of Helen. Right. Check for Pasquale. Okay, he left. Okay, now I understand how to deal with Helen. We have to get rid of her when she's in front of the vent, not in it. Okay, that's a little weird, but I understand now. Usually when a character goes through the vent, you hear a, you have to overheat it when, when you hear a banging sound. But for Helen, you have to heat it up if she's in front of the vent. Because if she goes in, then well, she'll kill you. Like she did in this video. Okay, I heard Helen, she's talking, which her voice is so demonic. Okay, Jasper's still in his spot. I'm checking for Pasquale and Helen. Yeah, and we're just dealing with Pasquale and Helen for this night. We're not dealing with anyone else so far. Oh, Pasquale is coming closer. Did Jasper leave? I gotta close the door. Yep, he just left, so I gotta close the door. Check for Pasquale. Check for Helen. Okay, Helen is not in front of the vent. Jasper left the stage already, and then Pasquale is not at the door. Pasquale actually reminds me of a college football player who died a couple years ago in a car accident. His name is um, Nick, Pas Nick Pasquale who died, unfortunately, in a car accident several years ago. And we beat Night 2. And here we get the we get children screaming through a fan again. Okay, so... Oh, this time we're playing as Helen for the minigame instead of Chucky. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what happens in this minigame. Oh, I get taken by the police again? Let's see. Oh, and the police caught Helen, who looks to be an imposter just like Chucky. Camera feet cut, same plot. Okay. Okay, the next thing we get is the password for night three, which I will take a picture of that on my phone before I end this video. Which I just showed it right there, so I'm going to take the picture. Anyways, we will take on night three in the next video. Thank you for watching, everybody. Please hit the like button. Also comment and subscribe. I appreciate all the support you have given me. Hit the bell to receive all notifications of upcoming videos on my channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.